Dallas. Dallas Deviant, and you live in Las Vegas. Uh, that's interesting. It is interesting to me as a a Texan who loves to go to Vegas. So that's interesting. And I my this is catching my great great avatar. This is not my space. I am here to network. Don't send me a random friend request unless you have some form of decent some form of decent input. A tag, a photo comment, something. In leaving said tag or photo comment, please try to expand your vocabulary and leave more than two words. Comments like, awesome pick, and you're hot, will be quickly ignored, and I will kick you in the shin if I ever see you in person. Okay. Hi. I just want to yell at you before we even start discussing anything with you. That's my first thought. Um, Actually, my first thought's a little more direct than that, but I'm going to hold back. With that said... Why am I on here? To make art. Whatever the hell that may be. I suppose I want to inspire, to create, to blah, blah, blah. I'm tired of the same old thing and want to collaborate with someone who has a hip outlook. I want to work with experimental photographers, weirdos and freaks, people who stare at the world from a different, dark, twisted angle. I want to shock people, inspire awe, fear, and a whole range of strange emotions. And I feel that I can be achieved without being overtly sexual, obvious, or pornographic. So yes, I do shoot nude, and I love it, but that does mean that I will shoot nude, does not mean, but that does mean that I will shoot nude with everyone. I don't think that says what you think it says. That does mean I will shoot nude, that I will shoot nude with everyone. Okay, well, just come down to Houston, we'll shoot nude, since you have to shoot nude with whoever you shoot. I am picky with who I take my clothing off for. Wait a minute, that doesn't go with the last sentence. About me, I've got curves. Okay, you said I've got curves, and my th- mind immediately said, let's go see how much she weighs. Okay, I've got curves. I love to play I love to play them up. If you are looking for a thin model, obviously the wrong place. I'm not tall, but I have a pretty face and love for what I do. I don't take anything seriously except for when I'm in front of the lens. The lens doesn't have an E. And I... Then, and even then, I have a tendency to laugh a lot, make raunchy jokes, and possibly pick my nose. I don't care about becoming a supermodel. This is simply a creative outlet, a hobby. Hobby ends with a Y. Contact me if you are interested in working together. I love to collaborate with like minds, sick minds, and preferably all around insane. So if you have an idea and you want to work, let me know. The crazier, the better. Um, That's a pretty interesting little poor little thing here. I'd fix the spelling errors. And uh, personally, I'd take that out. But, you know, it's your profile. And you like weird stuff, and that's why we're doing this. Um, I actually like the idea that you're here to create art and that you want to work with people that are have a different outlook on life because I think uh, a lot of us think we have a different outlook on life. And basically, looking at life in a different way is what art is, right? So that's good. And um, I like the fact that you don't expect to become a supermodel and you do this simply as a creative outlet. Um, That's kind of the way I work, that I do it as a creative outlet and I don't intend to be the world's greatest photographer and try to make the cover of every magazine. So that's cool. Um, These are some of the amazing people that I have had the pleasure to shoot with. Uh, Probably wouldn't capitalize there. Uh, The other thing that I think, it's nice that you say that these people were amazing because that's good. And then I kind of glance over them. Don't look at this stuff, except in your case, I've already looked at it because you said you had curves, so it immediately pulled my eye over there. I don't normally look at this stuff until after I've decided, I've seen your portfolio and decide whether I like you or not. Well, not like you. This isn't like a pro, you know, a a contest. Okay, first thing that caught my eye was this photo, not this one. This one caught my eye for two reasons. First, the colors are awesome. They're very... um, they're very dramatic, and so the colors are awesome, and that caught my eye. The second thing that caught my eye was your tattoos. You probably should have mentioned them in your profile. You mentioned your curves, mentioned your tattoos. Great image. Let's go back to your images. Then I'm going to come back, secondly, um, to this picture. And my first thought was, how did you do that? Very interesting. You do some interesting stuff. You're living up to your name. Uh, another image, you know, kind of casual. I don't know. Doesn't do much for you. Hands in front of your face, and uh, that's really all I think. Is your hands in front of your face? 
This is cool. It made me think of Angela Ryan. I don't know if that makes you feel good or bad. But it's an um, very dramatic, very interesting image. And you know what? If a photographer that's not open to this stuff, he's already gone. Okay, He was gone as soon as he opened up your portfolio. Um, if people are into this stuff, and I've, I've shot stuff like this, and the guy who did the goth swimsuit calendar was like this. And so I'm going to stick around, and I, I like this image too. I love the colors. Um, I love the versatility it's shown. Uh, I... Well, let's just go through these images. We're going to go through them fast because I took way too long on the last one. Uh, these are interesting. As I said before, this is your... I'm cheating. I want to get two pictures in. Although with two pictures, I think... Okay, I'm trying to tell a story. I'm showing the same thing from two angles. Black and white picture. You have a very pretty face. That's a good thing. Um, this reminds me of somebody. Some actress. I can't think of who it is, though. Oops. YouTube's going to be pissed at me. And um, it's nice. It's a nice image. You know, yeah, it's there's motion blur here, which is kind of strange. Oh, YouTube's gonna be pissed at me again. And you know, you said you have curves. You have curves. Generally, when they say that, it means that you're seriously overweight, and you are not. Um, interesting. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, the belt buckle catches my eye immediately. The motion here. It's okay. It's kind of a punk image, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Huh. Very interesting. And my first thought was that was done in post-production. If it wasn't done in post-production, I'd like to know. But a very interesting way of... Very interesting concept. Huh. Okay, I've seen enough goth portfolios to see the bathtub full of blood stuff done. Um... And I guess I'm jaded. It's the bathtub full of blood stuff. If I weren't jaded, uh, this probably deserves an M. Wow. You can do fashion, too. It's funny, because there's no clothing in there, but I still said fashion. Uh, wow. You know, that's a great image. YouTube's going to get mad at me again. I'm going to have to edit. I'll figure out how to do that. Cool. Uh, I see where you're going with this. This is... Uh, this is an attempt at pinup. Well, I don't know if it's an attempt to pin up or not, but um, I don't like the way the dress lays on you, and so it doesn't really work for me. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I thought of uh, Lilu immediately. And we're back to the beginning. Hey, so we got through yours much quicker. I would say overall, um, it's interesting. You live up to what you say in the front here. Um, curves imply someone a lot bigger than you. I thought your portfolio looked really good, and I enjoyed it. And you'll have to explain to me why you're Dallas Deviant and you live in Nevada.